from the VIP Pavilion here in Los Angeles for stage press. I have the legendary Peter Butter Wolf who stones the record. Um, you have a wide range of artists um, on your label. Uh, what are the things that you look for when you're signing a new artist who stones the Just something that hits me. Like, I, yeah, it's not really a, like. Yeah, I mean, it's like, it's, I know what it is when I hear it, that's, that's, you know, mm -hmm. it's, yeah, I, I surprise myself with what I sign sometimes. Do you have any standout MF Doom or Diller or Quasimodo that have the memories that you can mention and tell us about? We just started the interview, so I, it would have to. It would take like an hour for me to really warm up. Like that. <laughs> oh, like, yeah, okay. a, no, it's okay. There's like, yeah, I mean, there's like a lot of things that I've tried before. So, right, right, right. Yeah. But I mean, yeah, they're they're all great people. You know? I hear you. Great, great artists. Yeah, I understand that. Um, what's the most eclectic DJ lineup that you've been a part of over the years? Like the most diverse. Mm. Like we saw you with uh, Lord Finesse and J Rock uh, a couple years ago. We thought that was pretty good. Oh, yeah, that, yeah, that was a good one. Yeah. Anything comes. To I mind? mean, I guess just when you do festivals because it's like such a big audience. Like when I did Coachella and then uh, mm -hmm. this guy Morrissey was on the stage at the same time as me on a bigger stage, and then mm -hmm. uh, Paul McCartney from the Beatles played, and it's like wow, it's like different generations, you know what I mean? Like different styles of music, and so that, that's always, I, I like doing festivals for that reason. What's your favorite uh, country to, to DJ in the besides North America? It's always like, I mean, I always love Japan, um, Australia's been good, you know, I've been, I mean, hip-hop's taken me all over the world, I've been like, to the Middle East, and you know, all over Asia, Europe, uh, South America, so I mean, that, that's been a blessing for me. Awesome. So I know it's a lot of the 80s electro references that you DJ play, like uh, Ultravox, Cabaret Voltaire, New Lord of Bauhaus. Uh, any of those artists from the 80s that stand out for you that you like to implement in your sets? I mean, I'm into all those. I didn't play any of that tonight. tonight yeah. It was like a strictly hip hop night, but even like in, I mean, if, usually if I do it, a set where there's no barrier or no theme, I should say, because I could have played that if I wanted to, but, you know, people come to hear a certain thing as well, which everything I played tonight, I like. It's not like I played anything that came back to me, so. Yeah, but, we particularly appreciate you know, the whole VJ thing. That yeah, that's kind of like, I mean... I knew, like, going on after Newmark, like, he's a great turntablist, and, I mean, he put so much work into his set, too, like, and it really showed, it was, like, he did things, like, when he did the PYT thing, and he slowed down to, <laughs> like, I didn't, I didn't know, it was just, like, singing. Oh, the Michael Jackson. PYT. Yeah. I mean, yeah, 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 yeah. Oh, what did I say? You said PYT. Yeah, oh, okay, okay, okay. Yeah. But, like, yeah, yeah, but... I didn't um and I never heard it slow down like the, and right. it was like a regular voice and then he you know, I agree with you on that. Yeah, we like the Golan bar over there at Highland Park. Any plans to open another location in Los Angeles? I'd like to open another location anywhere because I have like so many records that are sitting in storage right now. So I mean my, my whole thing is like I, I like discovering music and I like having physical copies of the music and yeah. stuff. I mean I as you saw tonight, I didn't play any physical thing. I, I played all stuff on my computer, all digital files. Right. But at the same time, yeah, I have a lot of records. And that's kind of what I'm known for. So. Yeah, definitely, man. But I'd love to open another one. Yeah, we like that bar a lot. Appreciate your time, Will. Thanks, have a good night, Thanks for going to the bar, man. Sure. Appreciate it. All right, guys. All right. Peace.